Yo, yo, what is up, everyone? We are playing Pres Prismatic Prelude. Um, I'm a bit confused as to what I should take here. I don't really want Arcanist Crown. Uh, Caretakers is good later, but like, not great right now. Maybe level up. Builder Bud's interesting, because if I hit, if I hit Kabuko, it's pretty fun. Maybe I'm just going to do a uh, level up here. I feel like I can get into the fortune maybe as well. You just have the two trick shot back line, some bruiser front line, just decent front back. I've got to play two Teemo here, I don't really have a choice. Uh, I kind of like the idea of slamming Nashes, just because I'm playing Teemo. Um, but I don't like the idea of killing a Bell, a Rod. They went Bell, build a Bud, but did he sell his three star? I think he just sold it for Econ. <laughs> How interesting. Okay, I've slammed Nash's Teemo. It will do. Maybe we can play towards Teemo 2, Severe 2, like some kind of trick shot backline. I think it'd be also kind of nice to get Fortune in if we can. Although I, I'm a big fan of 5 Fortune because of the healing. I'm not a huge fan of 3 Fortune right now. I feel like the caches feel a bit underwhelming whenever I play it. I don't know if that's just me, but... Yeah, I feel like they're a little underwhelming. Uh, Wooden's pretty good here. I mean, I feel like this has got to be a better front line, to be honest. Just get these guys in. Uh, maybe even another Jax. For the heal? The Amumu heal value. But yeah, it's just got to be double Teemo, actually. It just has to be. There's just no way it's not better. Uh, I can keep the Buku pair. A lot of pairs. Jack's pair, Severe Beer pair, Buku pair. Oh, Heat 3. It's pretty nasty, honestly. Heat 3 is strong. There's level 5 as well. There you go for me, Teemos. I mean, they do a lot of damage, but the problem is, it's like, it's very slow damage. It's, it's very slow damage, and it's all on the whole team. Uh, two unit loss, not too bad here. Would it be nice to have Fortune in versus this guy? Just because I'm not going to beat a 3 star on cost right now. I don't have the board to do so. He's fine. I do want to sell a Moo Moo here. Like, I want to make 10. But the only way to make 10 is sell a Moo Moo. Sell Teemo, I guess. I hold it, Jax. I don't mind it. Don't mind it at all. We can do this. Just make our 10. And we still get to hold the fortune units, which is not too bad. Holding the fortune units is just super nice. Because like, even though I don't love the cash outs, like the three fortune cash outs, like if I'm gonna lose anyway, like having it in, obviously it's better than not having it in. Actually, Teemo damage is not that bad. I feel like it's fine. 1.4k? Not bad. Teemo 2 would have been good, to be fair. I feel like his, yeah, his AP scaling's huge. 1000%. A 3 star? That's nuts. Completed item. We want tank, probably. Cyrus pretty good here. Yeah, Zyra's probably best here. Yeah. I mean, Bard's really good too. It's trick shot. But I think I need tank. Oh. Let's go here. Declaw Redemption. It's not awful. It's not awful at all. I think Morello could have been fine too. Probably gonna make 20 here if I don't win. Just sell a Kabuko. Or a Severe. Give me a Severe. I feel like it's, it's more sellable. Wow, there's some very strong boards. Haiki, I feel like Kale's like so good. Like three story Weaver Ali is so good. Like if I could get Garen here, that's like Riven. Drop the Rek'Sai at Garen. They're definitely a lot stronger. Like, the Shred is super good. 
it's not even just like the unit, it's like what she provides is huge. Such good value. You got me over here, Jax? Looks like you do. I hear the team of Shroom's doing work. Just getting the backline units. Nice. Big 20. Huge. I'm a little scared of the other level up guy, but... Maybe it's fine. Wow, he lost to someone. Nah, PB. I played this guy. Oh, okay, we're in trouble. That's the ribbon. I mean, I'm not beating that board. <laughs> I'm probably not beating that board. So let's hope I play this board, I guess. I mean, even this board doesn't look awful. Looks right. Ribbon will do something here, hopefully. I see the Zoe next unit and I get Story Weaver Fortune, I'm down. I'm hella down for that. Give me Sleepy Snorlax. Uh oh. I didn't get Sleepy Snorlax. We yeah, are on the bright side, this guy doesn't have any active traits. But on the downside, he has a lot of good unit. Okay, he has Story Weaver, but that's it. He has no Warden, no Duelist. Oh, he's playing Exalted, that's why. That makes sense. But I still lose. Bit unfortunate. Uh, Dark Side 2, I don't mind it. I feel like it's fine. I mean, I'm honestly just never playing it though. I could play it with Kindred. Okay, there is a world where I play it. I play it with Kindred, maybe. I should keep Ink Shadow. Ink Shadow is definitely an option. I do really want to make Daddy here, though. Especially if I get gold. Then it feels bad not to make Daddy. Darax. Yeah, okay, I need Tia here. I don't think I made it in time. <laughs> it's okay. I think we're probably sack one and then level for Senna. Sack one level for Senna, getting shadow in. It's not awful. And then I can just replace Teemo with like Isolator maybe. I don't mind Sunfire Slam here. Just more tank. Honestly, this, this looks fine. We could even win this, maybe. And then we can sell these two. I mean, honestly, maybe it's... Maybe it's sell Senna? I don't love it, though. I don't love it. I feel like sell Senna is a bit troll. What you got for me, Teemo? Any more damage? Honestly, like, if Teemo Shroom hits... Like, I, I nearly actually killed the backline here. Oh, I do, maybe. He did a great job. He did a great job. I don't doubt him. Okay, let's make 40. Uh, balance budget. So I have level up. It's just insane value. Got fortune in. Uh, we probably sack the next five then. Shred's pretty good here because I don't have shred. I see it. Yeah, it's definitely Shred. Just go Shred here. And then, like, because we have balance budget plus level up, it's as if we get, like, what is it? Every four gold is six gold for me. So, every seven gold is, like, oh, God, my maths. Let's say it's every seven gold is, like, like, nine gold, something like that. No, more, like, ten. Like, ten gold. Ten or eleven. So it's actually, it's a lot, it's a lot, for sure. And I, I probably just roll down at 9, roll down at 8, and build a board. See what items we get and just play around whatever carry we hit. It might be a level 8 game, to be fair. I don't know if it's a level 9, nine game or not. I feel like I might be a bit too low by 9. I think reroll's pretty strong in set 11 currently. Uh, I don't know if anyone's playing reroll comps. Oh wow, the Kaelin is so strong. It's got the Rage Blade, Rage Blade, G uh, Death Blade. 
So nasty. Also, raining gold plus with birthday presents is pretty nasty because he's gone straight seven. Straight seven, 50 gold, 40 gold. And he just took the two star, whatever he got. Trist, I guess. Yeah, two star Trist. Don't mind holding this. Super fine. I mean, so I'm probably losing. Is it, how many do I have? Five. I'm probably losing five then. Five cash and we'll, we'll go. I need to not take 12 on average then, if I want to stay within the game. I can also take Annie and try and get the metabolic 5 uh, fortune in, the three, the 3 healing. Actually, it's better than metabolic. My HP better. This is the problem with Teemo. Like, he doesn't finish the units off. I feel like I'm losing by like a, like a thin margin on 3 units. Whereas like if I had someone who was like focus firing, I don't think I would feel that way. There is an Annie here. I think I will take Annie. The only thing is that there's a Trist out the pool. There's a Trist 2 out the pool, so it's like a bit rough, but it's not like very likely that I hit. I will take it though. It is good. Not only a, a good unit. Should help me save HP and I have the Lilia too. I could even remove her items on Teemo and put them on Lilia, to be honest. I need a tier though. I might roll for Trist here. It saves me a lot of HP. Three per round. Um. I mean, it's not that bad. Wood looks alright. Let's get this in. Also, just gonna put Redemption next to Annie instead, so that she can hold the belt. Lilia has a similar problem. That's the only thing. Where I'm like still doing damage, but like it's spread. Not too bad. I don't mind just having fortune in for money. I shouldn't have removed a team. I should have just bought and sold. That was a mistake. Three, four, three, three re rolls. Um. The power of a dragon. This round only. No prison can hold me. Um. Am I ever holding Lune? Because I have Silas now. I don't think so. I'm Zoe. What's your name? Well, that's not bad. Try to keep up. Okay, Zoe 2, Lowry 2. I think I buy both. Kazumi! I think I'm playing Sniper then. I think I'm playing around a Lowry Warden. Uh, Annie Pair is pretty good. Maybe we can go like Mythic plus Annie. Uh, Wooden plus Alawi and then add like Arcanist. We have a couple options to be fair. Having Alawi too is pretty good. Means I have frontline always. Although the Annie is kind of frontline too. Oh, bad loss. Oh, bad loss. We're still gonna make our, our cash. Although, considering we won one, the cash isn't great, but we'll take it. Take it. In high key, I'm kind of rich. Like, considering I have a uh, level up, I think my gold goes super far. Yeah, I need more damage items. I have, like, very unbalanced items right now. Three and a half tank. I guess this can be... Um... Belt plus crit, Bad Breaker. Bad Breaker's not too bad. I guess Stag's also not too bad. It's kind of tank slash AD item. Talking about Belt plus crit. I think, in fact, it is almost certainly going to be Belt plus crit. Is that true? Is that true? 
I feel like I should play three story weaver. Because I feel like I need shred and I don't want to build shred. So my items won't really let me build shred. I don't really have that. I can't really afford it. But who would I even play? Like I could play Zoe as one. Galio is the other. And then Sage, I guess. For AP. That's not a look for. This could also be Nashes. Nashes isn't bad. Nice, good one. Yeah, Nashes isn't too bad. Let's see. Let's see. Well, I think it's probably Hedge Fund. And Sack until PB. I, I just have level up. It feels Legends too bad not to do. I have infinite money. I mean, now I feel like I shouldn't even be playing Fortune. Okay, I cash next turn. Okay, we can cash next turn and then fix the board a bit. At least we have Story Weaver in now. GS. Let's go GS. It can be. It probably is Godbreaker, honestly. Okay. Slam some items, save some more HP. Old Tani. Nice. This guy had to build a butt. But it wasn't Yasuo. Like, I feel like it definitely wasn't Yasuo. What oh, you got already? Yeah, you got an ult in you? Oh, NTA. Okay, three unit loss when we have five fortune in. It's just not bad. It's not bad at all. The good hedge funds plus spot as well. 4-2, 100 gold. Double 8. I think we have to cash. Oh, not bad. 20 XP or 10 free rerolls? 10 free rerolls. I feel like... Can I just stabilize here? Wait, I rolled once too many. For items here for now. That could take Sterex. Okay, this is out. Need to keep rolling here. Morg is fine. Is Morg fine? I mean, Morg is fine. Am I, am I ever playing Behemoth? Probably not. Sterex is fine. I'm not playing Kane. Am I ever playing Morg? Like, actually? Probably not. I don't think I'm actually playing Crusoe. Okay, that's more... I mean, that's this too. It's not bad. Is that fair? Take that pair. Need to drop Irelia, I guess. Although it was Lee Sin. Like, maybe it was Lee Sin Irelia. I'm kind of building like the Arcanist board, but the, I mean, actually, to be fair, these are non committal. This, this can be AP. Okay, Never mind. Ink Shadow Behemoth. I mean, this is out. Is out. Is there in? Get this. I'm still three Arcanist. Like, that's still awkward. I mean, what is it? 52 to 10? I just need to survive two. I 
Surviving two is doable. Okay, not bad. It's a good win. It's a really good win. This guy's level nine. Oh, he has Recon too. Holy. It's actually kind of scary. It's a teacup. Nice. Good win. Good win. Really good win. Oh, wait. Okay, I need, I need to go about my way spot for a second. Okay, I'm literally level 10 after neutrals. It's just the board's a bit awkward. I won't lie, the board is definitely a bit awkward. It's definitely not the right board, but we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll figure it out. This other guy guy's just never in. Let's be honest. But then, there's no one else in. There's no one else. I feel like I have to have him in right now, at least. I feel like I should definitely get Galio in for the Shred, too. Maybe it's... And then one more Story Weaver, maybe Zyra. Keep my eye for Zyra. Keep my eye out for Zyra. I feel like having Shred is so important, so... I should, should keep, it at, keep it in if I can find it. I win this. I don't think so. NT, NT, NT. Bad. Okay, I'm definitely not dropping a Lowy. But like Udia, like is that guy even in? He doesn't feel like he should be in. He doesn't feel like he should. Armor. I mean, it's probably Titan set at this point. Okay, I mean, now it feels weird not to play this. But like high key. High key? Isn't it just Story Weaver in? Isn't it just Story Weaver in? I just feel like the Irelia doesn't provide that much. To be honest. But then, then again, she has my top damage, so... Maybe I'm capping. I could win. I could drop a Lowy. Drop a Lowy. I mean, I need Rakan as well, to be honest. Oh, what about this? This is my Arcanist. I'd say I drop a Lowy. And then what? Just play three story weaver here? Then I can play duelist in somehow. I mean I'm kinda down to itemize Udia. Oh god. Yeah, I'm kinda down to itemize Udia and see how it goes. Like maybe he's a monster. I feel like he kind of needs traits though. Like uh, Ink Shadows, like all the items work really well on him. It would be good to get Duelist in for sure. Maybe it is just Lee Sin and add Dragon Lords. Like Rakan, Lee Sin, Wukong in. We just start dropping out of like like the Sandra too, things like that. Listen. Like, he's just gotta be better than Umbul right now. And then, like, Umbul's probably better than this.
And then I feel like Wukong should be in. It's like Wukong 2, basically. Okay, so I could drop Silas. And I could drop Soraka. I could drop Silas and I could drop Soraka. And I'm gonna get a Wukong 2 here. I'm guaranteed a Wukong 2 here. I mean, yeah, it's probably fine, right? Zudi is a beast, though. I'm, there's no way I'm dropping this guy. Surely not. And the Irelia is just not getting dropped either. There's just no way. How do I cap boards? I've lost everything. I don't know. I'm so lost. How do I cap boards? I've forgotten. Do I need red buff? I have Sunfire. I mean, I should just deny Udia Hodge, right? And just put it Hodge on set. I'm pretty sure this Udia unit's really good, so... I'm down to just hold it. How strong is everyone? Like, this guy's basically me. Just got all the legendaries in. We are made by our choices. I see it too. Wukong 2. Okay, the set gets items here. I think I need Shred in. I think I need Shred in. You can't tell me Wukong 2 is not better than this. There's just no way. There's just no way. And then I feel like I need to get this, this uh, Diana in because it's two traits. I guess I could just drop away. Like, is Hui really my carry here? He's not really doing much. Just drop Hui for Diana. He, he does 2k. He does 2k. It's not nothing. It's definitely not nothing. Sage. Is this? This isn't doing much. Is Story Weaver doing much? I don't know. I think the shred does do some something. I think that that actually does do something. And then I guess it would be Rakan over Hue, and I just itemize other units. I guess that would be final board. I mean, it does feel weird playing without Lissandra. Like, dropping a Lissandra does feel weird. That's definitely true. It does feel weird to not play with Liss. Like, Zoe's in for nothing when I don't play this because I don't get Arcanist. What if it's just not Wukong? I just fill out other traits. Uh, it's definitely Wukong. I get Heavenly. <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm so confused. It's got to be Job Story Weaver once I hit two stars at least. Like, surely. Have to farm way. Then hate it. Hui is the only unit I can drop, right? But like, what would I want to play instead of Hui? Honestly, like nothing. Stick to the plan. We have a plan. Legends are told in word and deed. Okay, we're going to. Hello, you ready for me? Okay, so we're. Well, I'm just, I'm just finished, no? Die 2, Rakan 2, Rakan 2. Let me look at what this guy's main damage is. For example, my Hui is dead right now. Like, this 100 didn't do bad. Who's not doing their job? Okay, Story Weaver's getting dropped. 
It's like two useless units. The two good units. I think that's got to be worth it. And now it could be a zero of a way if we wanted to. Be my candle. I just missed a way. Pretty good, I hit. I mean, I guess it's Rage Blade I really are, actually. I guess that was a mistake. Oh, this guy's one off Lilia 3. Nice try. This guy doesn't have a Hoi, though, so... So I can even drop Hoi here. But I don't know what I would put in. That's the only problem. I'm just not really sure what I would put in. Oh. Animized people, nice. Give me three full items. Uh, reroll. I want an Irelia item and something I can make with armor. Is that not perfect? TG, Rakan, TG, Irelia. We are made by our choices. I actually missed a way. Not that I think it's going to make a difference, but... There's got... Oh, this one. Let's see it. I mean, honestly, yeah. Sniper reroll. I mean, he got build a bud, so it's not reroll, but Sniper's best legendaries. I feel like legendaries normally win this. Obviously, it's not guaranteed, but... The set Hue combo is really nasty. It's really nasty. I'm gonna roll once here and lock if I see Hue. It's actually sad because I'd have I'd be one off Hue three, and that means if I survived one round, I would guarantee Hue three win. Guys, getting close to I really get three. Oh, this is Hue. I'm literally one turn off Hue three. If I if I survive next turn, I win the game. Yeah, I just need to survive next turn. I can't. I've literally, I've missed way three. Okay, it's the same way, it doesn't matter. I mean, there's a world where I sell everything and roll, but like, I think I can win one. Surely I can. There must be some giga positioning I can do to win this. I mean, I have GA. Uh, I probably want to Lissolindra ult Udia. And Kong can go to the side. Uh, these things can't possibly matter, but do something like this. Let's see. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, my set oh not great here. Come on, team. Go, go, go. Oh, it's huge. Wait. It's winnable, it's winnable. Wait, it's way three. <laughs> Let's go! We actually made it. Never punished. Never punished. Let's go. <laughs> this guy's my favorite three star at the world as well. DFF. GG everyone. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to like, comment, subscribe. You guys are the good to so you made it spot. Thank you.